to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. You made a way. You you made a way, the way to salvation. You made a way. Please lift your right hand if you can, as high as it can get. And say this from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time, say it. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe with my heart that you died for me I believe that you were raised for my justification tonight I make you my Savior my Lord my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I receive eternal life into my spirit I receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life from today I go forward ever and backward never keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones they have come to you and i pray by the power of the holy spirit that the power of sin satan hell the grave is right now broken over your life i declare according to scriptures that you are recipients of eternal life and in the name of jesus i commend you to the ministry of the word and i commend you to the ministry of the holy spirit I pray that you are established and you are grounded in the house of God and grounded in righteousness. You will go from glory to glory and from grace to grace in Jesus name. Just a final word before you follow our counselors. Listen to me. And this, this applies to everybody and those who are watching. Don't get born again and run away from the house of God. The Bible says they that be planted the house of God is not a cinema that you go and visit when you see a movie that you like. The house of God is not a museum that you go there when you hear that they brought something you want to see. It takes discipline and it takes diligence to be planted. A seed does not enter the ground and jump out at will. It stays there until it begins to bear root. And the Bible says, he shall be. Who is the he? The he that is planted shall be like a tree listen carefully when you make when you just visit the house of god casually i feel like coming for koinonia today i think today is miracle service you're not going to grow that way they that be planted it takes discipline to be planted in the house of god and then the bible says that you will flourish in the courts of our god those they who are planted in the house of god it says they shall be like a tree that is planted by the riverside what a tree it doesn't wait for rainy season or dry season it it is constantly in a place of supply it says whose leaves does not wither and whatsoever he doeth prospers so i am encouraging you not only should you come and be born again and not only should you bring people to be saved as profitable uh, as profitable as that is you must encourage people to be planted in the house of god when you are encouraged to be planted in the house of god it's not just a search for crowd you should know that by now it is a desire to have people grounded in righteousness 
no student just trolls and goes for lecture or goes to school today and then leaves and then resumes after two years and then one day just does one week and then leaves you're not going to become an effective student that way it takes discipline and it takes diligence so let me encourage all of us who are here and then as many who are following and we who are here we we owe ourselves the duty to be disciplined as far as it has to do with the house of god knowing that when you come to the house of god number one you are not doing the man of god a favor number two you are not doing the church or the ministry a favor it is your own destiny you are the one who is planted that will flourish are we together praise the name of the lord so thank you so much aside from those under the anointing please i like you to please follow the counselors they are waving the placard just follow to my right now which is your left all other overflows please do same let's celebrate them as they go those under the anointing will just guide them carefully we have a lot to do and we're going to be very very fast now right where you are seated everyone please begin to pray mention the things that you desire for god to do in your life tonight go ahead and pray please pray everyone pray we're here for a miracle service holy spirit thou art welcome in this place holy spirit thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place are you praying holy spirit thou art welcome in this place holy spirit thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place for you are glorious and worthy to be praised you are the lamb upon the throne and on to you we lift our hands in praise you are the lamb upon there are cries of adoration I see men from every nation lift their voice to make your glory known. Singing, Holy, Holy, Holy are you, Lord. Holy, Holy, Holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Please rise up on your feet, everyone. Lift your hands to Jesus. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed 
worship you now holy 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 now just two instructions very quickly and then we'll be very fast please listen i want the ushers and all those to collect the prayer requests please if you are here it's usually our culture when we come for the miracle service to write down our expectations in a prayer request and if you are yet to do that let me just give you a minute very quickly to do that those following online if you are yet to submit your prayer request from across the nations of the earth please do that very quickly you can send it and let's collate everything right away you can have a minute or two to do that very quickly or in case you've written yours but for some reason your doubt and your fear did not allow you to include certain things now under this atmosphere of faith do well to write and add because everything you have written in the name of jesus will become your testimony yeah. now when you write that here's what i want you to do so that we maximize time i'd like you when you're done to pass it to the last person either at the left or right i'll just pass it to someone and they lift it up so that it makes it easy for the ushers no one is reading your prayer request is between you and the lord jesus once you are done please pass it very quickly so that the ushers can have it and if they are yet to come to your area just be patient now there are three things that i'm going to do very quickly and I want you to participate maximally in all of them. Number one is the prayer of deliverance. What is deliverance? Deliverance is a spiritual activity that separates you from every influence that impedes your advancement. It could be a spirit influence or it could be a situation. It doesn't necessarily have to do with separating you from a spirit even though most of the times it is spirit related but there are influences that have refused to allow us to make progress and i'm about to rebuke those spirits and rebuke those influences that's number one we'll take out time to minister because i can tell you this most of the things you have written in your prayer request it is this stage of this ministration that will solve them when the spirit influences that are back of these things are lifted from your life you will find out that doors begin to open supernaturally number two number two i'm going to be ministering to the sick by the power of the holy spirit and please listen to me if you came here expecting healing whether for yourself or for your loved one i want you to release your faith as i make declarations by the spirit of god remember my teaching I want you to connect by faith and somewhere in the course of the service we're going to give an opportunity for those who have been marvelously touched by the hand of God and it's not just those who have been healed from sicknesses alone those who have been delivered even when you stand up when you are brought out don't just stand up and walk away something would have happened to you note what has happened to you and when it is time some of you can have visionary encounters even while the meeting is going on all kinds of supernatural activities that is the second thing i will minister to the sick concurrently as this is happening the third would be the prophetic even though because of time many times we limit this operation as i speak to you and declare over you i want you to believe with all your heart i have taught you here that the prophetic is both revelatory and creative the revelatory dimension of the prophetic brings you comfort it brings you direction it builds your faith the creative dimension of the prophetic makes things to manifest that have no business manifesting are we together now and so we're going to have this and then pray and then we'll be done please i'd like you to open up your heart and allow this experience to be a rich one especially if this is your first time coming for koinonia let it be an experience that no one will tell you about let your heart be open this is the time of the meeting where there should be no distractions whatsoever your heart should be opened and then you receive hallelujah
Praise the name of the Lord. And so I'm going to pray for you right now. As always, there are spirits that remain dogged over tying down the destinies of men. Coming to you as dreams, coming to you as visions, coming to you as manifestations, causing delay, causing hardship, causing retrogression, embargoes of disfavor resting on people. I'm about to pray for you. And as I pray for you very quickly, the power of God is going to come upon you. And ushers, please, let's, let's quickly, quickly bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, um, please bring the person, two people that are going to shout right now, loud under the power of God in this auditorium. The power of God is coming on two people. A very, very loud shout. Bring them, please. Let's pray. Father, in the name that is above all names, we have come here, you have called it a miracle service. A service where you are taking burdens, yokes from the destinies of men. Lord, there are people here who have been tied down by all kinds of things. Some of them have prayed, some of them have fasted, some of them have done everything they know to do. And it looks like it is not going. But Lord, I thank you because you have, you have been given a name that is above every other name, above thrones, above dominions every name that is named and as your people shout at the count of three i'm going to ask you to shout the name jesus hear me i tell you there is fire burning here as you shout that name inside and outside the power of god is going to rest upon you and everything that is not of the christ must leave your destiny now right now in the name of jesus at the count of three together we will shout that name that is above every other name and every wall of Jericho must go down. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Now every stranger, every foul spirit, go now. Come out of their destinies now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring them out very quickly. I decree and declare. Lose them now and let them go. Lose their destinies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lose them now and let them go in the name of Jesus. We're still praying. There are families that have been tied down that nothing good will come out of you. Right now I decree and declare I'm seeing at least 21 people belonging to this case by the power that raised Christ from the dead. One more time you will shout Jesus may that fire rest upon you every altar that is speaking against your family that you will not rise that you will not shine it is destroyed right now one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus be destroyed be destroyed every embargo of darkness in the name of Jesus, please bring them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Never the same, never the same, never the same. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying. Look at me, please. There are people I'm seeing in the spirit who have this embargo of disfavor. Now you are moving physically, you may not see it. But there is an embargo on you people and things that should help you just ignore you as if you are not there i don't know who belongs to that category but right now in the name of jesus may that power come upon you now i declare that that yoke that embargo of this favor upon your life is broken now 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 hananta shadabalakoto soto badakata kratike de bakata i'm still seeing fire fall on people i'm still seeing fire fall on people 
the lord is is focusing on families right now i'm saying it again every family that has not advanced you have done the best you know to do educated but not advancing exposed but not advancing surrounded by helpers but not advancing at the count of three as you shout that name i decree and declare everything sitting on the advancement of your family it must be cleared out of the way are you ready don't be tired one two three shout jesus those barriers be broken help them please my god help that gentleman be broken now be broken now be broken now please help the ushers whether you are an usher or not they are overwhelmed if someone is near you just have to bring them out please help the ushers in the marvelous name of jesus listen to me i want to pray for you i want to pray for you there are families that have not experienced ease the things that should be easy there are others for 10 years they are trying to build one house 10 years and it's not like they are lazy everything they try to do it looks like there is no way i am praying for you there's a reason why i ask you to bring them out please help us and ministering to them in the name of jesus the spirit of retrogression that is sitting on anyone apakatoskata Madika Parukata Kebrendegeta. Right now, I command that spirit in the name of Jesus. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let Apakatosh Kedebakata. Let them go now. Bring them out. Let them go now. Please bring them out. Now watch this. There was a woman in the Bible that all the men in their life, her life were dying mysteriously. She was called the widow at Nain. The husband that she had mysteriously died. The last son that represented her future also died. And while they were taking him out of the gate, Jesus stopped them and said, no, it's not over. What in the world is happening here? The men who would grant us strength and security and fortification. There is this, this lady waving her hands. That one. I'm seeing oil coming on your head, my dear. Right now, I decree and declare. Be released now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, be released by the power of the Holy Spirit. Who is like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne? Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Holy Ghost is still telling me to rebuke the spirit of death. You see, you hear me keep saying this thing. This embargo of the grave in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is anyone here appointed to death, that there is an embargo of death, that you will not see the end of the year. All your family members are Some of you have seen it in dreams. You lie down to sleep and the semblance of death comes by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, may the fire of God rest upon you and bring an end to the orchestrations of death. Right now in the name of Jesus, be delivered from the sword, be delivered from accidents, be delivered from terrorism. Joseph, who is Joseph? I'm hearing a name Joseph. Joseph, this is what I'm hearing. I presume there may be many people with that name. Joseph. 
Alando shkeli bronka daski de balia tabarusia. Where are you from? Where are you from? Please don't just come out at random or pray. I can imagine how many Josephs will come out. Now, please hear me. Where are you from, my friend? Huh? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of his life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't come out at random, man, so that we can walk with time. There are two of you here that have the call of God on your life. Fire is coming on you now. The Lord is saying it's a new dimension in ministry. Among the Josephs that are here, in the name of Jesus Christ, new level, new level, new dimension. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are drinking of a very strong wine. Parakatosh Kadiba Lakata. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. New grace. Kadish Kadibala. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kogi State. Who is Halima? I'm hearing the name Halima. It's like you are from Kogi State. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you. For all of you, the what's your name? Where are you from? Come, stand here. You are in Abuja here. I want what do you do? I want to pray for you because God is bringing deliverance to your family. I don't know you, I don't know anything about you. But I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare that it is a new season right now Amen. who is innocent innocent I'm hearing the name innocent your name is innocent 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 Who is innocent? The man I'm seeing is, a, is I'm, I don't know if you're an old man, but I'm seeing gray hair. The innocent I'm seeing. You are wearing like a, is it light green or something? Kaftan. Light green. Is there someone like that? Innocent. Your life is about to change. Where is he? Come. Oh, he said, an old man, come. Please let me, I'll, I'll pray for all of you, but where is he coming from? Outside? Are you his wife? Give her the mic. Huh? Where was he? His name is Innocent. You're welcome, sir. Please come. Sir, I want to pray for you. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I want you to cheer up. God is going to turn your life around. In a way that will support. No, you don't have to kneel. Please stand. I don't know you. You see, this thing is not like it's a it's human calculate. You can't calculate these kinds of things. It, it has to be of the spirit. Praise the Lord. Who works in a bank here? Bank? Anyone? I'm seeing, I just saw the name UBA. UBA. This is what I just saw. UBA. That should be the name of a bank. Is there anyone like that? Not, not just in front here. UBA. Oh. UBA. The Lord is bringing... I will pray for you, but I'm seeing a gentleman. It's not a lady I'm seeing, but then I will pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be increase for you. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural increase by the power of the Holy Spirit. Baba, let me pray for you. 
and your dear wife and then I'll pray for everyone innocent too sir okay I'll pray for you um, there's someone here don't be embarrassed I'm not calling him bad but your brother has been stealing like there's the spirit of theft the house is tired everybody is tired God wants to deliver him now who is that person this boy has been stealing there is if you hide anything anywhere it's like word of knowledge where who is that please please don't come out here if we're, we're serious don't no don't stop them if, um if if you are the one don't worry god will touch you we're going to make um, um please let's just be sure that we're i'm not saying you suspect he's a thief or a car. he's somebody that everybody including him you know that they are stealing this thing is a spirit can i tell you this once people cannot control certain things, even though they know it's wrong it's a spirit are we together now you see how these evil spirits work you hide money they will steal it they come out of prison they go back again i know a gentleman years ago who his mother cost him that until rat stop stealing he will not stop stealing yes sir when when he gets to the prison they don't even ask him a question he will just go in because they already know that this guy is there they come and bail him out you mean all these people are you the ones who have is it that it's a challenge you hold on please let's let's time is against us so we have to make sure we our efforts are not wasted praise god is it that you are the one who is struggling with it no problem there's huh all of you your brothers they steal now you look at this ladies and gentlemen how in the world do you survive with these kinds of things now it does not always mean that the people are bad it's a spirit I'm going to pray for you and for some of you let me tell you this I don't mean to scare you but if it's happening to more than one or two or three people in your family chances are that you may also be a victim of it because it's a pattern like don't be embarrassed but two of you now as I'm speaking the power of God is going to come on you and you'll be delivered from this same thing now even before your loved ones just believe I'm a man of God I'm like a, a doctor once you lie down on the bed of surgery you don't tell the doctor what to do you just lie down and let them operate you once they are done they will ask you to come up two of you the power of God is called I just saw that light because some of you it, it, these things they are patterns help them you see it now I'm not saying you are thieves I'm just saying this is a spirit just because it caught someone first does not mean it will leave the rest it will attempt everybody in that family there are two people there's one more this is one one of you the power of God is coming on you you have to be free from this demonic thing if not you will be surprised that one day you will just be a victim of this thing and it will embarrass you somewhere in the name of Jesus Christ why are they here again please any other person even if is the person stealing himself just stay back and release your faith right there this is a whole family or you are coming from outside okay lift your hands all of you who are in front here please I like you to believe don't condemn your brothers don't condemn anyone daddy let me prophesy to you first please look at me sir in the name of Jesus you will not die I'm not a prophet of doom I'm only speaking because I looked at you and the next thing I saw a coffin and the Lord is saying I should rebuke it in the name of Jesus I don't know whether there's currently an infirmity or whatever it is but may the Lord himself preserve you the fullness of your days you will fulfill in the name of Jesus and for everyone here for the various reasons why you came out including loved ones who are challenged in this area with any and all forms of addiction I don't this fair lady I keep seeing light all over you I'm seeing the power of God coming on you this lady in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit something is leaving you I'm seeing that miracle happening to you in the name of Jesus be free now not just for you but for your entire family now in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God now everyone who is here wherever your loved ones are who are are victims of this this theft and whatever it is 
I declare their deliverance now. I declare their deliverance now. And please hear me. Let me use this once and pray for anyone here who is under any kind of yoke of addiction. Different kinds of addictions for you or for your family members. In the name that is above all names. That power of addiction that seems to have control over you. Let it be broken now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone here, you will go back and you will return with testimonies. In Jesus name I pray. God bless you. Please return rejoicing very quickly. Justina. Oh dear, our time. I'm hearing the name Justina. Who is Justina? Justina. Where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja. No, state of... Huh? I want to pray for you. You believe in the power of God? Yes. Look at me. Your family has been under siege. God wants to bring marvelous deliverance to your family. Lord Jesus, I'm praying. What God says to one, he's saying to everybody. In the name of Jesus, over this family, the power of God is coming on you now. Let there be deliverance now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that represents an oppression over this family, it comes to an end in Jesus' name. You too, Justina. Can I pray for you? In the name of, what do you do? What do you mean construction? Building maintenance. Where are you from? I'm from Kaduna State. What is the name of the this this Chinese company? CC. The Lord is going to connect you to somebody in that place. Look at me. Believe what I'm telling you. And go to your secret place and write this name down. Sahara. Just write it. Sahara. Go and write it down. A time will come. Somebody, a lady from that place, God is going to connect you to her. And they will lift you. Sahara. That's the name I'm seeing on you. Just go and write it down. This, this is like, this is, this is an, a company that it looks like they're into gas, oil and gas. Go and write it down. Believe what I'm telling you. You just go and write it. Sahara. Go and write the name. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord change your life. May the Lord turn your life around. In Jesus name. All of you, the same thing. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus. One of you has severe stomach pain. Like it comes. Who is that person? Severe stomach pain. Place your hand there. Um, what I'm seeing is not good. But in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare every planting that is not of the Lord now let it go in the name of Jesus out of her now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare let her be delivered right now and for all of you who are here standing whether for yourselves or your family members in Jesus name let there be liberty now in Jesus name the power of God is touching you please don't come out at random why are they here Dementia? You or your dad? Where, where is he? You too? Dementia? You? For your dad? Brother and sister? Father and sister? It's okay, I'm going to pray for you. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burden you have carried. For in the sanctuary, 
now listen i'm going to raise that song one more time and the power of god will begin to move just for you people that's the instruction i'm receiving that's why i raise the song there is a saint anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness my god the lord is bringing deliverance now oh come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary Come lay down the burdens you for in the sanctuary. Right now, I declare let that fire move across in the name of Jesus upon every one of you. You are standing for yourself, you are standing for your loved ones. At the count of three, may that fire rest on you right now. One, get ready. Two, three, take that fire now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, take that fire now for you and for your loved ones be delivered be set free in the name of jesus now hear me two of you who came out to stand here you are receiving an anointing is the call of god upon your life two of you two of you right now i don't know where you are i release that anointing right now two of you take that fire take that fire take that fire in the name of jesus christ father all those who have suffered from bipolar dementia and every other related medical condition whether you are here or for your loved ones we rebuke the spirit behind it and we declare be healed now be delivered now in the name of jesus christ god bless you please return to your seat please everyone rise i want to pray for the sick right now even though um, we're already on with the healing, but we can't call everybody case by case. If you can't, please stand, release your faith right now. I want to pray for you. Please stand. Just lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Please believe that this one, the power of God, will touch you. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit. Bring that lady. Lift your hands. Fire upon you now. Jesus. I believe. Jesus. There is healing in your name. As I pray for you, please listen. I truly believe in the healing ministry I believe in the power of Jesus to heal you're standing for yourself you're standing for your loved ones as I pray do not forbear with anything that is an infirmity whether it's a growth in your body whether it's for someone you can also stand in for your loved ones as I pray all I want you to do is to agree with me with a loud amen and here's what we have to do I want us to be out of here as soon and as fast as possible so please do well to cooperate i'm going to pray for you a simple prayer of faith and i'm going to rebuke that spirit the moment i do that for those who have been under the anointing and those who the power of god will come on you don't have to bring them out i want you to check yourself very quickly the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you aside from those who testified at first i want you very quickly you can come out either to my left on my right there'll be a few pastors who will check you just look at you and we'll have one or two uh, testimonies and then we'll pray over the request i speak over your life and then we're done i'm glad that bishop is here and um pastor from the u.s i'll give them a minute or two to just 
join faith with me and declare over you let's just stand in faith and then when that is done um we'll wrap up the service now lay your hands please very quickly he able more than able in the name of jesus christ please shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i decree and i declare every spirit that is back of any disease here any sickness any infirmity in the name of jesus christ i command let god's people go now yes. my god some of you will be feeling that that fire is just coming upon you going through your body as i'm praying right now is the healing power of jesus right now in the name of jesus be healed 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 be restored be healed in the name of jesus every blood condition here i declare be healed now ulcers be healed now visual impediments whether total blindness or partial blindness i declare be healed now anyone with deafness whether on one or both ears in the name of jesus be healed now cardiovascular challenges i decree and declare heart palpitations holes in the heart every kind of heart infection in jesus name be healed now high blood pressure be healed now low blood pressure be healed now migraine headaches be healed now epileptic seizures be healed now anyone here with the issue of blood be healed now pile i declare be healed now inability to sleep i decree and declare right now you find rest once and for all dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.